Well, I'm afraid five tips is very difficult because there's a host and an array of things to see and do uh, once you get to Sligo. But I suppose we're right by the sea. Today we're in Strand Hill, which is a very famous surfing beach. People come from all over the world to surf here. Apart from that, other activities that you can engage in include walking. We have some of the finest walks. Again, coastal walks, but also parks, um, forest walks and so on. Um, very unexplored, not really trampled by mass tourism. So uh, you get a real sense of authentic Ireland, so it's lovely. Um, you'd also have Yates and the Yates connection here. So you can engage with W.B. Yeats, the, the poet, and also his famous artist brother, Jack B. Um, you get a sense of what gave them inspiration right around the county. Um, so there's lots to see and do. Indeed, Yeats himself, the poet W.B., is buried here in Sligo in Drumcliff. Um, where am I? That's three. Um, two more. Two more. <laughs> um, throughout the year, we have a lot of festivals and events um, to cater really for all tastes and all pockets. Uh, many of them are free, there's a lot of kids, activities and so on, usually as fringe events as part of a, a major event and that kids can go and, and enjoy for free. Um, events that we would be famous for, I suppose, would include Sligo Live, which um, previously would have had headline acts such as Joan Armour Trading. Um, we'd also have had um, Elvis Costello and people like that. Yeah. And that's in October, isn't it's it? It's in October. It takes place over the October bank holiday weekend. Um, just to go back to Yates for a second, we also have a very famous Season of Yates event that takes place annually. Uh, Kickstarts on the poet's birthday, which is the 13th of June. Um, there's an array of activities again planned for this year. And again, it's something for everyone. It sort of um, goes from your more academic Yates International Summer School, um, through to Seamus Heaney doing readings. Um, I heard a whisper Bob Geldof has mooted, maybe he doesn't know that yet, so I shouldn't be letting <laughs> the cat out of the bag. Um, but um, also the Water Boys putting Yates Poetry to music have played, oh. Steve Wickham, that type of thing. So something yeah. for everybody, really. Great. And if a family were considering a weekend break here in Sligo, are there certain things that are kind of particularly suited to families to do? There are, um, and happily there are also things, if the weather, I mean, it's lovely here today, but um, if the weather isn't in our favour, there's lots of things uh, to see and do for families. You would have things like Eagles Flying, the Irish Raptor Centre, where you can see um, eagles and other birds of prey, owls and so on. Um, really in a, not in a zoo situation, but very much in a natural situation and they're catered and cared for um, very sensitively. Um, so that's Eagles Flying, it's in the south of the county. Um, they have indoor and outdoor facilities, so the air show happens outside and inside, depending on weather. Um, and then you would also have obviously the beaches I mentioned before yeah. that people can you know walk and um, there's some very safe beaches in Ross's Point and um, that families and kids can go swimming and paddling and what have you. And the children can do uh, surf lessons here. Children can Strand do so absolutely and um, there are many surfing schools here in Strand Hill and uh, they cater again from beginners right up to advanced yes. um, including children and families are all, all welcome. Okay, so there's lots to do anyway. Lots to do. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.